Welcome to SRAL's web series, EcoBytes. Each month, we'll focus on a different subject with new episodes coming out every Friday. So make sure you like and subscribe so you never miss a bite of ecological exploration. This month, we're going to look at a few invasive species and the impacts they might have on our environment. This week, we're taking a look at the wild hog and some of the destruction they can create. An invasive species is any plant or animal that are non-native to the ecosystem in which they now appear or are being planted in, and that can cause harm to the economy, the environment, or human health. The wild hog is a large feral pig that measures 5 to 6 feet in length and can grow to more than 150 pounds. It is a known carrier of brucellosis, E. coli, and other ailments that affect humans and animals. The wild hog, also known as the wild boar, feral pig, or razorback, was first introduced to North America by the Spanish in the early 1500s as a food source. The swine quickly populated the forest, marshes, and fields. By the end of the 20th century, the Eurasian wild boar was released for hunting. These two swine populations, along with domesticated pigs, which escaped from captivity, interbred and created the feral pig we have today. Unfortunately, these pigs have become dangerous and destructive nuisance animals. There are estimated to be more than 5 to 6 million of these animals in the United States, causing more than 1.5 billion in annual damage to property, agriculture, and natural resources. Currently, SRL researchers are exploring ways to mitigate the damage created by wild pigs, such as studying birth rates, litter size, behavior, population dynamics, patterns of agriculture and environmental damage, and others. All of this information together helps farmers, researchers, and lawmakers to come up with a solution to better manage this species. So not only do wild hogs destroy hundreds of thousand dollars worth of agricultural fields every year, they also are causing some major destruction to our native habitats. Tune in next week when we talk about the invasive fire ant.